Hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, at the end of this video, I will point you in the direction of where you can access even more videos. The question type that we're going to focus on this week is drum roll. Editing task choice. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, come on back, join me and we will check your work. Welcome back third grade, let's go over this one. So this one says, Hazel is trying to determine the area of the entire rectangle below. She says, I think this rectangle has an area of 10 square units because that is the total number of squares that I counted. Complete the statement below to make it true. So here she's saying that there are 10 square units, I'm guessing because of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Hazel believes that this rectangle has an area of 10 square units because that's the total number of squares that she counted. So what do you think? Is she correct or is she incorrect? Why do you think that? That's right, she's only counting around right here, but finding the area of the entire thing means also including those square units. So this is the type of problem where we're provided with some of the square units, but then we have to use what we were given to figure out the rest of it. So let me just erase this right here. So for part of the answer, it says Hazel is correct or incorrect. Well, we can go ahead and click that drop down menu right there and we can select incorrect because, and then all of these say the area of the rectangle is blank square units. So let's go and figure out how many square units this is. And this is what I would have done with this one. I would have gone ahead and taken the lines that were already formed and drawn them down. Okay, and now we have what looks like an array here, which means that we have the same amount in each row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in each row. So this would be seven, 14, 21, and 28. So the correct answer should be that the area of the rectangle is 28 square units. So again, on my computer-based test, I would click this drop-down menu so the answers are provided, and I would select this answer right there. That's how you solve this problem, so go ahead and pause the video and make any notes or corrections that you need to make, and when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to make time to intentionally practice and taking time to throw down your very best effort each and every time. I believe in you, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourself. And with that, I will see you next time, world changers. Bye.